Hello, and thanks for checking out Retail Store Content Builder. My name is Andy Lash, but you may know me from the Fresh Store Builder forum as ARunner26. Now, I got the idea for this program from some free MySQL scripts that I offered on the forum at Fresh Store Builder. Those scripts allowed us to easily create and populate unique content into our category description, brand description, product to description, and product key features. Now, what I wanted to do with this program was to expand it and include some features that I really couldn't include without writing a full-fledged program. Uh, the main new feature that you're going to probably be most interested in is the ability to create and populate the main product description uh, into the database and web pages on your Fresh Store Builder site uh, using unique spin text that you've generated yourself. So let's dive into the program and I'll show you how it works. First thing you want to do when you get your program is to go to the Database Connections tab. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time here but uh, because I have a whole video uh, just on the subject of creating uh, database connections. So um, as a quick overview, uh, you have five columns here that you want to fill out. One is the store code. It's anything you want just to represent the name of the store. Uh, the server address on the internet of where your uh, web uh, host has your site located. And then the username, password, and database, uh, which are all uh, items that you created when you set up your store for the very first time. So once you have those things entered, you'll choose uh, one of your websites and click Test and Connect. And um, you'll see here that it's actually made a successful connection to the database so we can update the web pages. Now once you've done that, we want to move on to the Category tab. Now this uh, video is being taken after the creation of um, the program version 3.1. So I've added quite a few features from the original version and uh, we'll kind of go through that. But what we're um, going to do on the Category tab is to create uh, unique content to be uh, posted into your database and onto your web pages. Uh, that will update the category description field. Now to get a sample of this uh, we can click on display sample category and uh, what it will do is give us an idea of what the uh, first three descriptions will be for categories in your database. Now you'll notice that in this version of the software I've created a prefix field and then we have uh, the main description uh, and that has uh, got some variables that are filled in, the category itself, uh, the name of the website, and a list of brands that are found within this category. And then we have a suffix field here. So you can alter the prefix and the suffix and uh, so to make this unique for your store, uh, the main product or the main category description uh, you can't change. That's part of the program. Um, also you'll notice at the bottom with this version of the program you can populate the top category description, the bottom category description, because on those category pages you have a blank at the top and a blank at the bottom which you can work with. So you can populate one or both. Um, and for the top description and the bottom description we have the option to append this new description to a description that may already exist within that field that you've written by hand. So once I'm ready to go all I have to do is click Populate Category Description and it asks me if I want to go ahead. I say yes. And you can see that in a matter of a couple of seconds we've updated our 82 categories with um, new content. Now it also gives you a note here that uh, once you've done these changes to your database you're going to want to delete the cache uh, on the website so that your changes will actually show up on the internet. A uh, couple more features in this version of the program. You can set a maximum number of brands to be included within this description. So if you have many brands in this category, you may want to limit it to say five or ten uh, brands uh, so that the description doesn't get too long. But you have that choice. At a thousand, you're going to probably get everything. You also have the ability here to clear out the top or the bottom description. So if you tried populating it into both and you didn't like that, you can uh, clear out one or the other and maybe use the other one for something that you would manually create. Moving on to the brand tab, the same type of thing. We have a prefix, 
we have the main uh, brand description that's created by the program that you can't change and then we have a suffix field where you can enter anything you want so I can click on display sample brand shows me what those descriptions are going to look like uh, again you have the ability to append or just to replace the brand description and you have the maximum categories to list because within the brand description it's going to list the categories that are found in this brand so if you have many many uh, categories in that brand you may want to limit it to again to five or ten if you have a thousand you're pretty much going to get everything when I'm ready to go I just click populate brand descriptions yes to go and you can see that we've updated 719 different brands on the website uh, with a new description moving along to product description 2 again I've added in here the ability to have a prefix or a suffix on uh, the product description number 2 and then uh, where we're going to list those product attributes they can be listed with a simple plain list a numbered list or a bulleted list so if I click on display sample product description twos uh, it's giving me the bulleted list and you can see it's created the HTML codes to put out a bulleted list if we click on numbered you'll see that uh, these will change um, to a numbered list and then if we click on plain it's just going to give you a list of those attributes without any formatting so I like bulleted so we'll go back there and again you can enter anything in the prefix and the suffix fields that you would like to be included in your description when I'm ready to go we say populate product description 2 yes to go and you can see that we've uh, populated about 3,000 uh, products with information uh, for the attributes of the product into the product description 2 field. Next we go on to product key features. Again we have the suffix, the prefix, and we have the ability to have a bulleted list, numbered list, or plain list. I can click on a display, kind of get an idea what that's going to look like. And then when I'm ready to go, I click on my populate key features yes to go and in a matter of a few seconds we have populated 2500 products with key features from the database now on this uh, next tab product description spin this is where we're going to create a new uh, unique content for the products main description now what I have here is I have uh, 28 different um, prefixes and variables that you can change uh, to make this description uh, unique and say what you want it to say and uh, for each one of those uh, variables I have five different variations so let's uh, click on a spin test and kind of get an idea what this does now what we've done here with the spin test is we've combined uh, different variations together to get this particular description that I'm showing here so we start out with the prefix and then uh, the program has chosen our establishment okay which is variation number three is from the prefix looking forward so it took variation number two for looking forward uh, for the next one two is from the prefix offer from stock okay that's variation number five the renowned so the and renowned is number five and then it has a tag here title which is the title of the product so at the time that we actually post these descriptions into the database for the web pages uh, we will substitute uh, for this tag the name the title of the product we also have the website name as a tag and we have the manufacturer included in here as a tag as well right here so at the time we populate the database those three tags will be replaced with the actual data so if I click on spin again uh, it's going to give me different variations of that same description using the uh, different words that it's selected using a random number generator if I click no it goes back to the screen 
You'll notice also that here you have uh, also a suffix and you have a trailer field. Now in the trailer field you may want to create some unique text for your website. Maybe put in some keywords that uh, you're trying to rank on. So once we um, have everything the way we want it, we'll go ahead and click populate main description with spin. Click yes to go. Now you know from the previous tabs that we have about 3,000 products in this database. So what it's doing is it's going through and creating uh, unique content for each one of those 3,000 products and it's populating it into the database. So within uh, less than say three minutes or so for those 3,000 products we're going to have um, a new product description in the database. Now once that's done uh, and there we go probably even in less than two minutes uh, we've created um, main product descriptions with uh, spin text. Uh, once that's done you're going to want to go to the website itself and you're um, going to be able to log on right through the program if you want to or you could use a regular browser. Let me go ahead and log in here. Now once you've logged in, what you're going to want to do first thing is go to Tools and Delete Cache and clear out the cache so that all the changes we've made with the program will show up on the internet at that point. Now I am running uh, using version 4.0.6 so I verified that the program is working with the new version. Now if I do um, View Website and if I click on a category here now what you see here here is the text that the program created and put into the website for us now the great thing about the way the new version 3.1 works is that each one of the different brands within this category have been made into a hyperlink so if I uh, want to go over to one of those brands, I can just click on that and it will go to that brand. Now, we're on a brand here. This is the text created by the program for that brand. And you'll notice that the categories now become hyperlinks. So we're hyperlinking back and forth between categories and brands. So that cross-linking will be uh, good for your SEO. So uh, that's categories and brands. Now, if we... Um, Let's go ahead and uh, choose a product here. If we click on the product, all right, um, you're going to see here that um, this is the unique spin text that we created in the main product description. And the title of the product has been filled out. Uh, the name of our website or uh, title of our website has been filled out, as well as the manufacturer of this particular product. You'll also see here under features, um, our key features are listed in the bulleted format that we chose there. Now we could have used a numbered list or a bulleted list or a plain list. Uh, you also have the second description where your product attributes are listed. Again, I use bulleted lists there. So uh, there you have it. Those are all the things that um, you've populated with the program uh, to this point. Now what you're probably going to want to do is that within the main description spin you're probably going to want to create your own template but I've given you a default template here that you can use right away when you get the program. Um, if you change this name and click on save you're going to be able to save as many different types of templates as you want and use them on the, your different websites. Now in this version of the software I've also created a find and replace functionality. So what this does is allows us to go through any one of these uh, eight fields here, look for some text that's already in there, and to change it with text that you want it to be. So um, if I click on one of these fields, first thing it does is let me know that you need to put in some text to find. So I'll just leave that. And then um, the text you want to change it to.
and then you can see that it's actually building an update command here so it's going to try to replace um, in the title field um, click off that field and we'll get it to fill out enter some text enter some fine text that's what we're looking for and then change it to this text is what it's going to change it to and then if I click on these fields it adds them as additional fields to do the search and replace on and if I click them all you'll see that they're all um, filled out now if I want to execute the command I just click on this uh, button here and it will go through and search all those fields for the text and then replace it with the text that I'm replacing with or I can clear out and start over again so there you have it um, that's retail store content builder version 3.1 and um, you can try the program without a license but uh, once you have your license you just plug it into here click on validate license and it will uh, check and make sure you have a valid license and save that for you and you'll be ready to start populating your database and web pages with new content so I hope you like the program if you uh, buy the program if you find any problems or anything with it let me know and we'll take care of those or if you have ideas for new things you'd like to see in the program let me know about those things as well and uh, we'll see if we can add them into the program so I uh, hope that answered most of your questions about retail store content builder and uh, hoping to have you as a customer so thanks for checking out the program